Okay, before you slam me in the comments, I just want to see this film out of curiosity, just to be sure of what it's about firsthand. It doesn't mean that the movie is better than the games that came before it. I know, I haven't played them yet, sure. But I'm just saying, I was just a bit curious. Just hear me out, okay? <laughs> What is up my Cinedroids? G to the S here. Today, I'm gonna be reviewing a movie based off of the video game series of the same name directed by the infamous Paul W.S. Anderson, Monster Hunter. Behind our world, there is another. A world of dangerous and powerful monsters that rule their domain with deadly ferocity. When Lieutenant Artemis, played by Mila Jovovich, and her loyal soldiers are transported from our world to the new one, the unflappable Lieutenant receives the shock of her life. In a desperate battle for survival against enormous enemies with incredible powers and unstoppable terrifying attacks, Artemis teams up with a mysterious hunter, played by Tony Jaw, who has found a way to fight back. Now right off the bat, I can see what all the hate and criticism is coming from. Even towards the beginning of this movie, it just feels a bit jumbled and all over the place. I mean, I'll give Sony Pictures this. I get the fact that they want to make a film that pays respect to films that let the environment do all the talking, instead of spewing out a lot of exposition and talking the story out, and I don't have a problem with that. What I do have a problem with is that in terms of execution, you're just breezing through and not taking your time to interact with the characters and learn about their traits. Like for example, and this might also be considered a spoiler, but again, none of you are concerned, are you? But there's a scene where Artemis hangs around with a few warriors on a ship and all they're doing is just talking about how they're going to get her back to her own world and that's fine and all. But can you let us know about the characters so that we can learn about what their goal is so that we can get this movie over and done with? There's another character moment where she hangs out with Tony Jaws, the hunter, and their chemistry feels like generic back and forth Tarzan banter between them. Like the hand gestures speaking the words so they have a meaning to someone who doesn't know English and stuff like that. I don't know, the character development feels out of place to me. Also, the camera work and cinematography too looks like it was high on drugs or something. The zoom in, zoom out shots look weird. The swooping camera shots were all over the place. And the shaky cam when it comes to the action sequences, I'll get to them a little more momentarily but so far it was giving me a migraine and I couldn't stand it whoever worked on the camera movements for this movie do a better job with that please for my sake speaking of action sequences I mean there are some really cool fight choreography scenes where both Tony Jaw and Mila Jovovich are fist fighting in one scene and I'll admit that looked cool seeing them fight it's just that the camera needs to stay still in order for us to see them fight each other so again do a better job with that but still the action sequences were okay the acting coaching from Paul W.S. Anderson, however, honestly, it wasn't really that bad. In fact, I can see the actors having fun with their roles. So nothing against the director at all. It's just that the story and execution bothered me. So props to Paul W.S. Anderson for coaching your actors in this movie. I mean, I heard you were getting a bad rep for your directorial style, but so far, good job. Let's see if you can keep it up from there. Now, when it comes to the drama and emotion in this movie, there is not a lot to contribute whatsoever. I mean, at the same time, there are moments where you do feel sorry for the hunter who has lost his family in one scene, but still, there are no emotional moments where it grasps my attention. I was just stone-faced throughout this whole movie. I mean, I was a little bit in awe when they showed how large and scale the CGI and the use of visual and practical effects looks, and it does look cool and all, but aside from that, that's about it. All this movie is known for is showing how big the CGI looks and not telling a thought-provoking and interesting story that pays respect to the games that came before it. In fact, now that I think about it, this game perplexed me into playing those games to see if they got it right or wrong. So if I had one good thing to say about this movie is that it made me appreciate the video games that this movie was based on. So with that said, good job movie for doing so. Overall guys, in the end, I understand the hate for the Monster Hunter movie now. It did terribly. The CGI and visuals as well as the fight choreography scenes look cool and all, but still, the Kim Morgan cinematography gave me a throbbing headache, the story was jumbled and all over the place, the characters were not developed properly, and the accurate representation of its source material was kind of misleading, to be honest. In short, it was forgettable. And as a result, I rate Monster Hunter, the movie, 
Two and a half stars out of five. Total waste of my time and my money. I highly recommend you to skip this one. It's just not worth your time. Play the games instead. So the Monster Hunter movie. You've seen it, right? Well, since we're on this bandwagon of movies based off of video games doing terribly nowadays, let me know in the comments which video game based movie is the ultimate worst in your opinion. I would love some answers about that. But if you like this video and you want to see some more, make sure that like button shines in your face. That'll totally help me out a ton. Also, share that video with your family and friends and favorite it. That's a very good way to show support for this review. Also, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell right next to you so you can be notified of future videos that I have in store for you. Also, if you want a shout out in a future video, just follow me on both. Instagram and Twitter and I will choose one of my Synodroids to be displayed as a shout out. The link's in the description below. And also follow me on Stardust so you can catch early reactions of movies, TV show episodes, and trailers. I'll put a link to that below in the description as well so you can download the app for yourself. But until then, I'll see you next time. Peace out.